Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. I'm Tracy. Okay, this is a leg day, but no squats or no lunges. All right, I know some of you have knee issues, so this is gonna be a great way to target leg muscles without those squats or lunges. And here's the format. You'll do 45 seconds of work with 15 seconds in between. I'll do supersets, and we'll repeat each superset for three rounds to get some good progressive overload. You're gonna require a variety of dumbbells for the workout today. Here are the ones that I have used. I will also use a bench, but if you don't have one, I'll show you those modifications. I'll start you with a good warm up and we'll end with a cool down. Okay, ready to move daily? Me too, let's do it. Okay, it's traditional strength on the watch here today. Let's just hold on to something for balance. We're gonna just do an open door. So same side, we'll lift it up, open, in, and down. All right, let's do six aside. Here's three. Three more, up, open, just warming that ball and socket up in the hip. Last one here. Switch sides, bring it up, open, in, and down. I filmed a little short of this over on Instagram and asked if you wanted to see it and there was an overwhelming, <laughs> overwhelming yes. No squats, no lunges. I mean, I do love my squats and lunges, I really do. But nice to have some options from time to time. Let's take it wide, toes are out. That's a squat, we'll tap toes. <laughs> I was about to do a plie squat. Can't very well say it's no squats and lunges and then warm up with squats, Tracy. Come on. <laughs> so I'm just so used to it. Good, four more here. Last one, and stay here. We're just gonna hinge forward, keep that knee soft. Just lengthening through that hamstring on that side. And we'll take it to the center. Just gonna swing back and forth. You can grab your elbows here. Warming those hammies up. And over to the left, hold it here. Very good. And up, hold on to something again. This time, leg extension behind for 15 aside. Here's five. Now five more here. Switch legs, slight hinge forward here. And five. Good, last five right here. Okay, reach across, tap that out. Reach up and over. Good. And here with the heel dig, just increase the heart rate a little bit more. High knee right here. And butt kick here. And some heel sweeps. Try to sweep down toward the ground, alternating sides. Two more here. Okay, and we'll finish right here. Pivot on your foot, lift that heel up. Very nice. Okay, there's the first superset. No squats or lunges, here we go. We're starting with an abducted RDL. So if you don't have 
a bench. You can put your leg out to the side here and hinge. I'm holding a 20 and we're hinging right here at the waist. So I reach back and up. Good. Hinge and up. I'll call half, we'll switch. Targeting a little bit of that inner thigh as well, of course. I found this one on Brett Contreras, the glute guy, his site. Last one on this side. Switch legs, other side, and hinge. Sorry, you get my butt view. <laughs> is excellent. That, that lengthening is nuts. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, going into your glute thrusts. I've got a 50. You can do this on the floor, okay, if you don't have a bench. I'm here. Feet are close to the bottom. And you're one 1,000 low. Two, one thousand, squeeze the glutes. Nice. All right, back to your abducted Romanian deadlift. I'm gonna hold the 25. I'm gonna go 45 per side. I need a little longer here. All right, let's work. And we hinge, slow, slow, and lift. Good. Switch sides, that's good. I got 12 reps in. I need a full 45 here. Okay, again, sorry about the back view. Leg is up and we're hinging at the waist. Here we go. And we hinge. Yeah, he kept his hand on his hip here, I think. I feel like if you did this at the gym, people might look at you funny. <laughs> but he's the glute guy. Like he, he did his dissertation on glutes, his PhD, uh, on the glute thrust versus the squat, which was better for glute activation. So he studied this. I'm gonna trust him. Mm, this is hard though, I like it. Nice, okay. Whew. Those little inner, inner thighs are gonna feel that tomorrow, I think. Glute thrusts, round two. I've got my 50. One 1,000 drop. Okay, Whew. round three, and I'll stick with my 25. 
And we'll stick with 45 seconds per leg here. Okay, other foot on the ground. Small step or elevated here. Reach and up. That back flat. Switch sides. Wow, really feeling that. That's good. Something different. Okay, stick your chest out and hinge. Last glute thrust. Ooh, she's heavy. That fifty's heavy. One one thousand drop. those glutes. Very nice. Okay, excellent. Grab some water, take a look at the screen, and that is the next superset. I'm starting with that kickstand deadlift. I'll hold 20s. I'll call half and we'll switch. So plant one toe as a kickstand. We're gonna hinge at the waist. Getting that deadlift. Here we go. And you're slow. Two, three, power up. So thinking of that one glute reaching back and squeezing at the top. So that kickstand is kind of like your helper leg here. Super flat back. Switch your tiptoe and work slow to Three and up, good. And making your way down to the ground for that donkey kick. This can be done with or without a band. I'm just gonna slip it around my feet like that. I'll call half. This is your position. Here we go. Back is flat. Okay. Little donkey kick. More focus on your glute. Straight up and down toward the ceiling. Flat foot is flush. Again, feel free to hit this without the band. We're just adding on a bit of that eccentric tension here where it wants to snap you down. You're controlling it. Switch sides and push. Good. Okay, I think we might need 45 on each side for this one too, mightn't we? 
Sometimes you don't know until you're in it and see what you're supersetting with, but I feel like we can go longer. <laughs> I just feel it. I feel we can. All right. Ah, round two. Let's go back to that deadlift. I'm going back to my 20, 20s. Kickstand here and hinge at the waist. Okay, last here, switch legs. You're not arching your back at the top, you're tucking the pelvis under slightly. So it's okay to stay slightly rounded in that upper body. Tuck. Okay, very nice. Into your donkeys. We're on the feet. Remember now, 45 aside. Why not? Back is flat and we push. All right, slow your pace here slightly. And let's just stay in the pocket, get ready to work. Little calisthenics, small muscle groups here. Working that glute shelf. Whew. Fire, it was fire. Stay with me on this side. Take a break if you need. Oh, that is. Okay, now we'll switch legs. Yeah, that was way better and way harder, wasn't it? I feel like I needed it though. All right, switching sides. Other leg is up and we work. Straight to the ceiling with that flat foot. Let your back sag. I would have just found that I was doing that, just like relaxing. Keep it nice and straight. Woo. Seven seconds. Push, push. Nelly, that is fire. Hamstring and glute fire. Round three. Back to my 20s. Kickstand and hinge. Last one on this side. Switch legs. Reach your glute back. Glute, glute, glute. Lengthening the hamstring, stretching the glute, and then squeezing at the top. Nice. Last donkey. 45 per side again. I'll go this way. Okay. Back is flat and push up. If you didn't have a band, you definitely need that 45 aside here. If you have a really heavy band, this is going to be <laughs> tremendously hard. Mine is the extra light for this exercise. That works well for me. Wow. Hamstring, I tell ya. That's on fire too. Stay on this side. 
10 seconds. Oh, wow, that was hard. Switch legs. Back is flat. And up to the ceiling. Okay, very nice. Good, grab a drink, take a look at the screen, and that's what's coming up next. Whew. Fire, fire on those little gluteys. We're going into some good mornings. Now, if you're not loving the good morning and you wanna just hit a squat instead, feel free to do that, okay? These take some balance and practice. I've got 15s. I'm hinging at the waist. Here we go, so we reach our hips back, two, three and power up. I only have the band on to make it easy for my next transition. You don't need a band for this. Reach, two, three. Although I do have the heavy band, which is causing me to externally rotate my knees or push those knees out, which is activating my glutes a little bit more. So not a bad thing. Two, three, good. So you are hinging, reaching hips back. Back is super flat. I'm holding the butts of my dumbbells, resting them on my shoulders, of course. Now, you could use a barbell if you had one. Mm. Okay, that's good. Gotta get these off. Now, into my seated abduction, sitting at the edge of a chair or a bench. Okay, heavy band. Hinging forward at the waist, we're gonna open and close. Stay in the pocket here. Let's go, and we open. Open. Now, if you only have a lighter band and you don't have enough tension, you're gonna push against the outside of your legs, okay? Or even if you don't have a band, push. You create the tension. This is tremendous with the heavy band. <laughs> it's really hard. Whew. All right, well, we're halfway. Stop complaining, Trace. <laughs> Get in it. <laughs> Let's go. Of course, if you were at the gym, you could do the seated abduction machine. 10 seconds. Back to the good mornings. Okay, long hair is a little bit challenging with these. We're hinging, here we go, and slow two, three, <clears throat> power up. Reach, back is flat. Last one here. Okay, and into your abductions. Keep that band in place there, of course. I come up to the tiptoes, slight forward lean, working that shelf here. And here we go, open and close.
Ooh, halfway, let's go. All right, round three. I'm sticking with 15s just for ease of putting it up on my shoulders. I feel like I could do heavier, but I don't wanna hurt my shoulders. If I use my barbell, that would be better, but here we go. And hinge, slow, two, three, and reach. Slow, two, three, and up, very nice. Okay, out, here. <laughs> and let's go back to our seated abductions. This heavy band, final one here, and work. Calf is shaking from being on the tiptoe there. Three, two, one. Oh, nice. All right, take a look at the screen. There is your next circuit. Grab some water. Pause if you need a longer rest. I'm gonna grab a 20 for my contralateral single leg deadlift. So opposite leg and hand. Okay, same side works a little bit more hamstring, opposite side a little bit more glute. So we're hinging, slow, two, three, and up. Opposite hand to opposite leg. Now we're gonna do a full 45 per side. I want you to go super slow and, whoops, fall, fall to your death there. <laughs> slow, two, three, and up. We do 45 aside because it takes a bit to get the body into this balanced structure here. Okay, of course you could hold on to something like a chair or wall, but do try to use that balance. I gotta stop talking because I gotta, I gotta focus here. Slow, two, three, and up. Nice, switching sides. Oh, I only have a 20. I'm gonna move it up next round to my 25. Okay, knee is soft, opposite hand and leg, and we hinge, back is flat. And slow, two, three, and up, good. Think of your glute, reach it back, two, three. We've done enough hamstring today, so I want you to think of your glute, which is why we're doing the contralateral hold not the ipsilateral hold, which is same side, targeting a little bit more hamstrings in that ipsilateral. Slow, two, three, good. Okay into your calf raise. Now, lots of ways you can do this. Up on an elevated surface, so you're gonna do single leg. I'm gonna push far away from a wall, up to tiptoe and down, I'll call half. So we reach and down, tiptoe and down. Again, if you have 
something like an elevated surface. You're standing on a very secured dumbbell or a small step. It's even better because you have a nice little dip, but this is if you don't have that. One more here. Switch your leg. Tiptoe and down. Up, up, down. You want to go as high to your tiptoe as you possibly can. Okay, round two. I'll hold the 25 this time. 45 aside here. Okay, stick your chest out, knees soft. Get ready to hinge at the waist. Slow, two, three, and reach. Now, what you don't wanna do is turn that hip up, keep it facing the ground. Inside. See, I only got about 10, 11 reps there, so I do need that full 45. Soften the knee, back is tall. And hinge, slow, two, three, and reach. definitely harder. I'm gonna elevate my heel this time. I'm gonna just put a dumbbell under there and make it nice and stable. I'll call half again. Dip that heel and up to tiptoe up. Low and up. Switch your leg. <sighs> Round three. Okay, back to my single leg. Hand and foot, full 45, hinge right here, and slow, two. Nice, switching hands and legs. That's where you get those calluses holding those heavier dumbbells, pinching the fingers a bit. That's okay, people like us and such. Here we go.
And finishing off with the calf raise. Is it calf or calf? <laughs> Tricky. Baby cow or back of the leg? All right, here we go. I'll call half and up and down. Try not to push yourself up with your hands if you're doing it on a surface like this. I see that Stratton's put his hands here and made my wall all dirty. <laughs> of course. Switch your side. Dip and drive. I can't see my timer, so I can't count you down, but we're close. Three, two, one and done. You move daily in your lower body workout. No squats, no lunges. I'm feeling all of that. Okay, join for a stretch if you can. Bring it down to the ground. I think I feel I want to need to start just with this butterfly stretch right here. Bring those feet in. Oh yeah. So because a lot of hamstrings, you can tend to feel that lower back a little bit, can't you? Yeah, it's a, it's a tricky one with lifting heavy, keeping that core engaged, right? Like expanding the diaphragm, keeping tension in that lower lumbar, erector spinae, all of those abdominal wall muscles as you perform the action. So you're keeping that core stable and really putting your mind into those leg muscles instead of, but any deadlift, you know, you're also activating lower back muscles. So we can tend to feel that as well. Sometimes if I'm tight in the hamstrings, I definitely do the foam rolling on them so that it lengthens through that fascia, makes it more malleable and hydrated. And I think that's a really good way to, you know, move through that. You could do that pre-workout, post-workout. Um, anyway, yeah, I do like that. That side abducted RDL was interesting. I feel like I'm gonna feel that in my inner thigh tomorrow because it's such a lengthening, hey? Anyway, I've talked about him before, Dr. Brett Contreras. He has a gym called the Glute Lab and a company uh, down in San Diego. Anyway, he really is in the fitness world, sort of the king of building glutes. And so when I saw that on his Instagram page the other day, I'm like, ooh, gotta try that. <laughs> Anyway, he said he had been doing it for years and years and then thought, well, I'm gonna bring it back because there's some science, good science on onto activation for glutes uh, for that exercise. And then I was also talking about the ipsilateral and contralateral hold on your single leg deadlift. And a, a newer study was just published, I got this from Brett Contreras again, where they found that the the activation for hamstrings was good on either hold, but if you want more activation for glutes in a single leg deadlift, that contralateral hold is the best for that. So that's opposite hand and opposite side. Ipsilateral hold, same side, same leg, same hand. Uh, I feel is a bit more tippy, right? I don't feel as counterbalanced, but and I haven't done a lot of those either. I typically do the opposite, the contralateral. I should add more ipsilateral, mostly because I like that word ipsilateral. <laughs> uh, no, just for that, that hamstring domination. I think that's good too. Whenever I do single leg deadlifts, I feel them the next day because you're lengthening so much that hamstring and then contracting it. And I just, I, I like that for hamstring development. Um, my son said the other day, I can't remember what I was doing, but at shorts on, I was bending over and he's like, not that he was lucky, but he saw my hamstrings and he's like, I gotta say, that's pretty good, mom. <laughs> I'm like, I know. <laughs> not bad for a 54 year old, I say. All right, that was good, not too strenuous, but interesting way to target legs without squats or lunges. All right, put it on repeat twice a week if you want. I'll see you all in the next workout.